Vitamina interviews once more. Uh, then in an interview with two gentlemen here coming from Italy this time. I'm here with Michelle and Davide. Uh, <clears throat> and they have been touring South America for some time now. So first we're going to ask the first question, how are you doing? <laughs> really good, man. Really good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> good. So we're going to start we're going to start with a question is uh, something that we ask all of our artists and it's what were your first favorite artists in electronic music your references in electronic uh, music yeah. Yeah. Uh, my favorite artist in senior charts Sante a new artist Chef Uz, Darius Rossia and David I think uh, if we talk about uh, old years my favorite artist uh, for my inspiration, for example, was uh, Kerry Chandler, of course, and uh, Phil Weeks, of course. Tell us now your experience uh, in Newcastle and also Leeds uh, last May uh, then in the UK. What was it like? Was it good? What was the impression of the people there? What was the experience like? Yeah, of course, as always, UK gigs are really good, really good, and the clubs of UK is uh, fucking underground, and I love it with a big sound system, and uh, it's simple, it's amazing every time we visit UK for a gigs, you know, it's real, really amazing. Real underground the Shelle, real underground in UK. Right now, also. Uh, your style of music when you mix them for a party it is definitely a legacy of house music you have remixed then classics of house music then and you bring it to a new generation and for example how did you get then or how did you take the decision okay we want to place house music was then your first choice something that came from your heart was something that you thought about it first how did you get then to say, okay, house music then is in our soul? How, how did it happen? Uh, sometime after, yeah, uh, me and my brother uh, mixes uh, old school with a new school and uh, it's really great. The people like this. For example, we play uh, tracks with uh, 20 years old and later we play a new track and the people like this, the people like the, uh, the people like the um, old school and the new school, you know? Yeah. And we also, of course, we love the old school house music, but we, um, we try to do a mix of old school and new school. That's something that not many DJs dare to do in their sessions. So they are, for example, I want the latest trends, or this is the music uh, then I produce for my label, and they stick with it, and there's nothing else. So tell us about, for example, there is one uh, one of your mixes that is also a free download uh, then on SoundCloud that was from Whirlpool Productions with, from Disco to Disco. So how did you get to contact than the creators of that track than to make a remix like that. Yeah, we, we, we made it because we fucking love that track. For us, it's uh, one of the big track of... Authority side for, take, for make that re-edit, you know? And uh, it's happened. It's a really nice re-edit and we love that track, of course. We love... Imp in first, the original track is an amazing track, of course. Yeah. In fact, I have both tracks. I have the original that I bought on Beatport, and now I have your free download already. So yeah. I have been... <laughs> so I have been then watching all of the videos that you have on your Facebook page. And they are really amazing because every city where you go, the reaction is the same. Uh, to your to watch your music of mix of old school and the new school uh, Do you select then any of the tracks that you are going to play on a night or then you just go with your heart? I mean is there any plan in your set? 
or do you follow the um, absolutely not man we mm, we start the mix we before see the people in front of us and we think which track is best for them you know we not prepare anything before the set we try to see the people what you want you know and this is our way to DJ set so it's a really good thing that you can read your audience immediately and the reaction so really that's also part of being DJ that not everyone has some people will just look at their track list and go with it so congratulations on reading your audience really and to really make them go really wild now tell me about uh, then your own record label okay um, why did you create your own record label because you have then published music in a very good record label but then you created your own so what the spirit of your own record label? Yeah, I think in, in the career of a DJ and producer, of course, we need to make something special for us and we like to do uh, what we want really, you know? And he's born creator because we want to, to do a... Um, occasion to for example a new talent of Italy a new talent of UK and all European people yeah we like to do uh, our original track and some new talents of the electronic music okay now uh, your plans for the future so do you have any plans for this year next year something that you would like to do like new productions collaborations What's in the future for you? Yeah, we have a lot of music and seeing it. And we have a collaboration with a great artist. But I can't see anything, please. <laughs> I can't see anything. But it, it will be really strong, really strong relays. And uh, with, of course, an amazing artist. And uh, can't wait to share with you these things. Okay, so everybody should check uh, then Keras Brothers Facebook page for new releases, collaborations or whatever they have under the hat. So we will see and we will be really expectant. So now our last question would be for you. What is your message to your fans all around the world and to our audience? It's just we love you. Without you is not exist. Thank you. This has been David and Michelle coming from Italy, touring around the world, bringing the spirit of house music back to new audiences as well. Thank you so much for coming to us today. Thank you to you, you. really. We love you, of course. Thank you so much, people. Keep on listening to Vitamina DJ News.